This is Athena Jezik, and we're still at it. We've got the backs of the legs that we need to work on. Uh, knowing that behind the knee is a very delicate area, you don't want to push hard on that either side. Uh, the inside of the thigh is where a lot of the lymph nodes, and that's where the other tracks are for nerves. Um, they, and veins, they do run, they do tend to run more in the middle of the leg even though they're or the inner thigh, I should say, rather than on the outside, but they do run everywhere, of course. And uh, it's nice to have a little bolster under their ankles to lift up. And so we'll start by working this outside leg. So as usual, we're gonna start by putting some oil on. I'm just going to do it this way so I can... If you're doing this in practice, you want to make sure that you're standing comfortably. Save your body. Believe me, I have experienced what it is like to work this stuff for many years, and it is taxing. It can be. Okay, so we're going to start down at the foot, just picking the the uh, leg up slightly, letting the knee bend slightly, and just pulling the foot just gently, kind of almost like, I don't know, like petting it almost. And then down to the toes, we're going to go down into the toes. Circular motions, you know, we've worked the foot um, on the upside, or if you start with the upside, then you'll, you know, you work your the feet usually twice. If you turn people over and you do full full work on both sides, the feet get a double dose, which is kind of nice because they do a lot of work for us, and oftentimes aren't appreciated like they should be. So, and again, you want to just go into those uh, structures like we do on the front. It's really pretty much the same kind of thing that you do on each side. You can just get to the bottom of the foot a little bit easier. And going around the heel and up under the this little ankle bone here. Now don't work deep into these areas at all. Be very mindful of what you're doing here. It's another very delicate area. Structures under there are delicate. And then up the middle and each side of this calf muscle, the gastronemius. And back and forth with the it's more of a petrissage. You know, the thumbs, they, they do move a bit, but it's the hands that are really doing the moving for them. This is a thumb wag. That's going to wear out your joint. It wears out enough just like that, so just understand. You want to take care of your hands if you're doing this and plan to do it for a long time. You really do want to take care of your hands. And then the knee, a lot of lymph nodes there. Gently over it, or pump it a little bit if you wish, but just don't really massage the back of the knee. And then come up into the uh, IT band, all the way up to the hip joint. The hip joint is about right here. Just wanna take it up there. This is the band that really holds you steady more of a, it's a tougher band, it's not really muscle, it's a lot more tenderness. And then we're going to do the same kind of petrissaging up into that gluteal area. And then you can also find where the 
the sacral, uh, the, the SI joint is, and just kind of work in there, and up underneath. And then back down. And then uh, one more thing that's good to do is this thumb pushing cross fiber friction up the IT band. A lot of times I've experienced a number of runners who get a lot of pain through here at times. So I like to work that IT band out because it is a real uh, important structure to stabilize us. And there's the hip joint. Okay. So we do the same thing on the other side. Start with some oil. Massage is really good for people to relax down and get the muscles relaxed and tension moved out of them. And it can be very much a part of, you know, a kind of a, a maintenance program or a preventative program, however you want to look at it. But there are other things that are take you deeper into the body that really take you deeper inside to where you start to really examine who you are. You know, bringing, when people really get into deep, deep, deep work, they start to change. Kind of shed those things that are restricting in their lives, the emotions, the more, especially the more negative emotions. You know, they get us caught in loops all the time we get all irritated and then we get sidetracked and diverted and then we're not thinking clearly we're thinking emotionally we're not we're unable to be logical in how we're thinking and then we make bad choices in a lot of things and then we also get very defensive and if somebody points something out to us or something is said that our little mind isn't creating we will lash out in this kind of a projection of the awfulness we feel inside, we project it on the other person because we didn't want to face what might be really going on. And you know, we're all going to have to get past that. We're going to have to clean up our own backyards, take responsibility, because that's where we're going to start if we want to have peace with our own selves, if we want to have peace with others. So don't be afraid to... Uh, Get to know yourself, get to know your body, get to connect with the, with the uh, consciousness of the body and the cells. It's just as important as anything. And once we learn gratefulness for our body and we start to treat it with respect, I think we're going to see a lot of changes in a lot of things. So it's just a little thing to think about. We want to grow and mature. I don't think we want to stay childish and without any kind of wisdom. Okay, so we have that and then you can... Now the thing about lifting the legs here is the knees, you want to be careful of the knees. So I just like to bend it at the knee and then just give a little movement through that. Taking the hip and notice that the toe alignment with the knee as I'm rotating this is staying with that knee. So it's an it's a entire movement and you can go both ways. And just see if there feels like there's fluidity in the joints. And if it's relaxed. And then you can just say, if you're checking the rhythm, you can see if it's balanced. And if you want to check the fluids, you can see if it's flowing. 
little things like that as you grow and learn if you're a therapist so many things you can do okay well I want to say thank you all for everything thank you for your views thank you for appreciating the work that I do and I hope you enjoyed this reunion Karina and Athena thank you